Here are several new uh, 3D modify tools that you'll want to really take advantage of. You saw in the previous segment that you're limited in 2D functions when you're working in 3D space. Uh, but now we're going to show you three tools that are really designed to work in 3D space. Go up to the Word file, come on down to Open, and I want you to come over to the end where you see the win3d.dgn Duno Open. What you're looking at right now are three different wall segments. You'll see these right in here. We've got a door with a doorknob, we've got a window. And what we want to do is show you some of the additional tools that really are the same, same concept in 2D, except that they allow you to work in this Z depth. Come up to the word Modify. Come down to where it says 3D Operation. And let's start with the 3D Array command. It's going to ask you to select an object. So we're going to select this block here. This is a window that we have. Touch the right mouse button. And look at the prompt down at the bottom. It's going to say a rectangular or polar array. So let's type in R first for rectangular array. Now it wants to know how many rows would you like to have. All right, so in this case, we're just going to leave it to be one row. How many columns? We're going to say give us three columns. And here's the new option, levels. Levels are basically the value that's going to go in 3D space. Uh, it'll go, it's going to go up the Z value. You remember Mike's left-handed rule, right? If you extend your left hand and only look at your thumb and only look at your first finger extended out, your arm will always be the positive Z. So when you rotate your hand so it matches the UCS icon in the lower left-hand corner, you'll know what that number is going to be in the Z. So in the number of levels, we're going to say, well, this is a three floor building, let's say, so we'll type in three. Now it's going to ask you for the distance between the columns and the distance between the levels. Distance between columns, let's go ahead and type in three feet, five inches, do an enter. And the distance between levels, let's say that we want them to be eight feet. Do an enter. And you see how it automatically came out and rotated or uh, arrayed the windows along this wall. Even though the XY plane, as we see here, the UCS icon, was looking at a top view, we can still rotate or still mirror, in this case, in 3D space.